RPG Real Estate Episode 2 Two stories again folks Pero under one title So anyway First story was yung uh, They were They were um, Assigned by their By the big boss of RPG Real Estate Si Lady Sa Si Lady Satona So pinuntahan nila ang lugar kung saan nandoon si Lady Satona It is actually the Dark Lord's Castle Ginawa kasi itong uh, Theme park ng, ng Royal Government So ang daming bata So ang daming attractions Ngayon Ang pinaproblema kasi ni Lady Satona Marami pa kasi mga properties dito ang unoccupied Mostly kasi sa mga nakatira rito ay empleyado ng theme park. So, natural. Lady Satona needs to uh, needs to fill these slots up. So, pinaki so tinripping niya sila uh, Rufuria, Cotone, at si Fa. So, naki well, uh, let's, let's be clear on this, mga ka-lifestyle. Rufuria is the priest. Rakira is the warrior. Right? So, medyo nagkamali tayo nung Uh, review natin ng pilot. Fa and um, Kotone uh, so went back to their went back to their place. So nang usap sila. Then merong isang uh, pamilya ng mga daga. Yun, kumbaga bagong kasal. Pero <laughs> ang problema nga na lang na mag-asawang to tatlong po ang anak nila. Uh, ang nakipaglaro muna sa mga sa so, mga anak nila, yeah, all 30 of them, <laughs> si, si Cotton eh. So, ang nag-uusap si, yung, yung wife, at si Fa. Ngayon, yung isang, yung isang anak, <laughs> nag, nagsimula na mag sa isang post na kahoy. So, nasita ng nanay, so, so, talagang, binawi niya yung anak niya, because both things might, Things can't get worse if that if that digging continues. It suddenly hit on Fa that hmm, holes in the wall. Aha! So biglang biglang nagkaroon ng idea si Fa na well, basically why not offer these properties in the Dark Lord's Castle to non-humans? Ayun nga. Meron kasing isang property doon na puro butas ang puro butas ang dingding at pader so doon inalok niya ito sa 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 family of mice ayun kinuha tapos merong isang kwarto na medyo medyo merong sunog na party rito sa sa dingding at saka pader they offered that one to a fire spirit kinuha rin tapos Meron ding isang um, kwarto na merong parang swimming pool sa loob mismo ng unit. Uh, no human can take it on. So, they offer it to a um, to a, to a demi-human who was affiliated with water. Ayun, kinuha! So, hindi na lang problema si Lady Satona para sa pag-fill up ng mga, ng mga properties na to. Because, well, RPG Real Estate has done its job. Second story was was about an old lady who's trying to trying to um, fill up her her really big mansion with um with tenants. Sa laki ng bahay niya, hindi niya talaga malaman kung paano kung paano niya hahanapan ng mga residente ito. So, she sought the help of RPG Real Estate. So, yun nga, sinabi niya, eh, pa paano ba? Eh, eh mukhang Um, fumafollow up siya ngayon kila kila koto na on how on how the um how the prospecting is um is doing. Eh, well, tinapatan asan ni koto na na well, we're we're having a hard time um looking for looking for potential tenants. Eh, well, sinabi naman ng matanda matanda ba na keep looking. Okay, so Off she went. So, biglang sabi ni ni um, ni Rakira na let's throw a welcome party, a long overdue welcome party for Kotone. 
pumayag si Rufuria. So, they did the welcome party at uh, at Rufuria's home. Na medyo, medyo, medyo class nga eh. Kasi sila dalawa lang kasi ni, ni Rakira ang nakatira doon. So, talagang um, party pa more. Wow! Dalawang mamahaling alak yung inihain ni, ni Rufuria. Ang hindi lang, ang hindi lang naka, 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 nakikampay dito si Fa. Because she's not 16 yet. So, ang ginawa, so, ang sinurso sa kanya ni Rufuria, ni, ni Rufuria, gatas. <laughs> eh, she doesn't like the taste of milk. So, well, Koto na yun has a solution for that. Nilagyan niya ng honey. Ayun, tinikman ni Fa. Mmm! Subay! Everybody retired into their rooms. So, habang naliligo sila Fa at Koto na eh, Koto na siya suddenly came up with, with this idea na room sharing. Ayun! So, the next day, they were able to find enough tenants for the old lady's mansion na, well, siguro ka kaidad nila na kapos sa budget. Mm. They were able to fill this mansion with tenants. Another job well done for RPG Real Estate. Final scene. Well, Koto na suddenly suggested to the other girls na why don't we get a house, why don't we get a, a mansion that big so that we can all uh, live in it. Una, against sa uh, idea ng ito si Rufuria. But, um, Rakira made her see the light and yeah. And uh, they they all agreed. Why not? Sige, ipon tayo. Patreon, mga lifestyle we're gonna break that episode down now. Critic sub style. Peace! Pinamuna ako na kayo, uh, mga lifestyle I have no complaints as to the pacing of this episode because bottom line let me fix myself up here this is an episode about well basically real estate brokers kasi in real life you really have to rack your brain as to uh, match the property you're selling to to potential clients talagang kahit sa paliligo mo isipin mo ito eh. So, and I totally relate to um, to uh, to Cotton's plight in the second story. Flow naman. Uh, the biggest gear shift for the first story was yung uh, the conversation between Fa and the um, and the and the lady mouse. Okay? Gula ko eh. Ha? Tato po anak mo. <laughs> No brain of a gear shift there, folks. Kasi, well, job well done. It's a job well done moment for the main protags. Kasi, nakanapan nila ng, nakanapan nila ng property ang, ang, ang mag-anak na to. Talaga, yeah, it's a huge family. Pero mo, the husband, the wife, and their 30 kids. Okay. Dagay. <laughs> In one go, pwede mag-anak ng ganito karami ang dagay. Biggest gear shift naman of the second story was yung bathing scene ni Lafa at Cotone. Because, again, brings uh, another aha moment for Cotone. If it weren't for that gear shift, hindi hindi nila makuklose ang, ang klienting ito. So, basta hallelujah, hallelujah moment, gear shift ito. So, these two gear shifts that I saw, If, this, if these two don't play a role in future episodes, I don't know what will. Kasi, motivational factor ito for all the main protags to, yeah, to continue, to continue working hard para at the end of the day, may, com may commission sila. Plot-wise, magaling transitioning between episodes eh. As in, um, well, bottom line here is this. A real estate broker can have several clients at once. So, one episode, mm, closed. Another episode, closed. Pero, habang, uh, habang wala pang kliyente, these things can happen at the same time. 
So yeah, if you could, if, if you you can put this into a real world perspective. So they are a real estate brokerage firm. So habang um inahanapan nila ng ng uh, ng tenant itong property na to, ito matandang babae fuma follow up sa kanila para well basically to follow up on the status of her property. Kung may nahanap, kung may nahanap na siyang, kung may nahanap na siyang kliyente para doon. So, no brainer transition doon. Kaya, malinis ang plot, mga ka-lives. Ah, hindi, sorry. Platsyado ang plot. I can't say it's a clean plot kasi magkaibang kliyente ito eh. Right? So, not, no two clients are the same. As a, as a sales professional, you need to treat them differently. Kasi nga, sales is a mix and match thing. Especially, pag real estate ang bini, ang, 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 uh, ang product line mo. So, I just, I really can't say na talagang malinis ang plot. Pero, well ironed out ang plot ng episode na to. Two stories, maganda yung transitioning. So, this, ah, hindi, So, pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. Talagang educational value na naman ang, uh, ang RPG Real Estate for us. So, RPG Real Estate Episode 2. The pace is rather forgivable because, again, nagkaroon ng educational value ang anime na to. Two thumbs up! Excuse me. What's in store for us in the next episode? You know what? We can only speculate kasi teaser lang yun eh. Pero bottom line mga ka-lifestyle. RPG Real Estate is, is quite the educational anime it is. Lalong-lalo na if you're, uh, if, you're in the selling, if you're in the profession called selling. Right? I think I've said this already in the pilot eh. Pero hindi ako, hindi ako mapapagod na sabihin sa inyo uli ito. This anime has educational value and um, it showed that to us again in this episode. Talagang ako, oh, relate ako sa episode ito. Even when you're showering, your brain um, your your prospects, your products are racking your brain as to how you're going to um, how you're going to close them. Right? Kasi ako na experience ko na to before eh. Uh, when I was with uh, probably when I was with when I was selling insurance actually. Paano ko ba offer ito sa mga sino kaya pwede ko offer ng ganitong klaseng insurance? Yeah. Even kahit sa paliligo ko nag-iisip ako on how to on how to sell this kind of insurance product to to the right person. Kaya totally relatable ang anime na to. So Yeah, we'll still we will still keep tabs on this anime. So again, RPG Real Estate Episode 2. Two, two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for RPG Real Estate mga ka lifestyle. Talagang wow. Relatable, educational pa. So Patreon, wait for my next upload. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, wala, chill chill lang talaga kayo. Enjoy this review and I'll see you in the next one.